ESPN, brought to you by USAA. We were just talking about the quarterbacks. We have will receive. Coaches always playing coy, aren't they, man? A prominent role in this game eventually. So first and 20 after the penalty. That was Prescorn who got called for holding. And it looks like there could be team for the pylon. He's going to be ruled out. Eddie Lewis. To make an assignment doesn't make sense. Asa Martin in the backfield. Asa Martin up the gut. Tulsa ready for it. And Asa Martin able to get in. He broke the plane. The ruling on the field stands. Yeah, all right, there you go. Off. We can pontificate all we want. Nah, you know what? I'm, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. All right. You know, I just like to do it up here. Be efficient with the football. Get it to your playmakers. Denaric Prince trying to get off the left side. There's going to be a penalty down. Gang tackling. Second quarter. Second and 12 for Brent. Going to take a shot downfield. That's, a, that's exactly what defensive coordinator Matt Barnes is looking for out of the secondary. Epps was open. Bryn, the pressure. Career. That's yeah, a good hit rate for Hennigan. <laughs> See if he can do it again. Across the middle of the field. On the ground now for Memphis. Have been winning, and they've been winning big. So they were showing pressure there, and they're able to get to Hennigan. Now third and 11 for Hennigan in Memphis. Going to take a shot. But he has a team. First down at the 20. Brim still in at quarterback. Receiver falls. It's going to the trigger or not. Fake to Ford. Quick shot. The best player on the field right now. Tulsa's obviously going to do what they can to get to the ball as Brent has to climb the pocket because of the pressure. Just Just no pressure and drop out. Two first downs for Tulsa on the night. And that's one right now. So third down for Hennigan and Memphis. Shot over the middle. Falls incomplete. He can throw it, but he's a guy who the RPO game and him getting out on the perimeter can become more of a factor. The run game has to get going for them to have success. See if Prince can get to the corner, and he's tried twice where Beale Street existed. If I had money, yeah. <laughs> I had no money in college. 23 now. He's good low again. And again, forced that the 11, pressure coming. Braxton the play fake. Just a quick hit over the middle to want just the third first down of the night for Tulsa. That was a shot to the side. Ten. Braxton time across the middle. Tips nearly in this on Ivory. We've got more join up at the top of the screen. And if I had to bet, I'd bet that that's Joseph Skates. And now his helmets are off. See if Tulsa can get something going. They, too, have all three. Braxton dances out of the pocket, keeps his eyes downfield, going to try to take a shot, just throws it away. Fantastic athletes and what they're able to do out here one-on-one -on -one against these wide receivers. So, again, third and long. Braxton forced out of the pocket. Does a nice job just to get that throw away. There's a show of his athlete. All-time leader at Tulsa. Plenty of time for Braxton to be back there. Unable to do anything with it. They ruled him down on the field. That was... Hennigan looking left. Goes back to his right. Goes right over the middle of the field. Wouldn't you know it? They don't. They make you think they do. Field goal on the way. First time we've seen him. Mixing up his coverages, mixing up his pressures again to keep them off balance. Second and nine out of the backfield. Piled in all night long. Pressure. pressure again. See what Hennigan's got dialed up here in their first possession. He had to get out of the pocket because Tulsa made some adjustments. Showing again. Showing pressure, going out and playing coverage, showing coverage, bringing pressure as Memphis just did on the previous series. One receiver. Hennigan finds the hot guy in the night. So far, that's been Ivory. That's Ducker. Tulsa again, linebackers up on the line. Ducker again, right through that line. Third and two. Hennigan fakes, rolls out, pressure again. He's in lane. They got him going, running the ball. Got some good rhythm out of the quarterback early. See if they can get that going. Long and have not given Tulsa any room to breathe in the run game. Second and four here. Can Tulsa room to breathe? Play the receivers tight on the outside, load the box. Official. His voice. 
can only imagine what it's like to go through some of the things that he went through. Hennigan taking a shot. Over in the second level. Fake right, slip screen left. Tulsa all over it. Get hit and still hold on to the football. Hennigan to his left, back across his bus. Top of the screen, first and 10. Hennigan looks that way, tried to come back right. Just so 11th play of the drive. It was the worst starting field position for Memphis. <laughs> third and I will six. unplug something in a minute, dude. Here comes Tulsa, pressure backside. Mm. Get to him. He's one of the smartest guys on the team. 44 yard field goal attempt. But they can get going here with 32 seconds left in the third. Quick shot out. Hot. You mentioned Stokes. Quiet night for him. That's to put it on him to identify the open guy and take the shot. Takes the shot there. In good inside leverage. Not going to get any help. Play clock down to five. Blitz coming. Snap. Drop. Throw off his hands. So now a third down for Hennigan. They go to the same route across the middle of the field. That's over 100 yards in a game this year. Ducker, right side. Keep. Plenty of time for Hennigan. Scan downfield, came back to ace him. And that, that's kind of the difference. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, the, that's the next step, right? I mean, you, that was just a joke. It was a good one. <laughs> Where sometimes they miss people. They don't see them. We've got the benefit for a lot on the line. Of Gus making the switch to Mikey Keene at quarterback. He came to Louisville. Those are the kind of games when you talk for third and long. Shot across the right side of the field, trying to keep his feet. Ball is on the turf. Ball at the 38. Braxton a shot. Saw this earlier, incomplete. Flag on the play, intended for Santana. ESPN app. Second down. Third and ten. Tulsa. Shot at the end zone. Almost. <laughs> Fourth down for Tulsa. Not the only connection, by the way. <laughs> like literally. There we go. Can they get in? Tulsa. Touchdown. Keelan Stokes. I mean, that, that's just not. Steven Anderson, one carry, no yards. Under defensively. And again, the most important thing, as we said at the top of the show. Process just about anything they throw at him. And look, fourth and one. Under centers Hennigan. There's your one yard and a first. But it's always interesting to see how coaches call these last drives of the game. Do you let... When you have two games like you had against Houston and you had against East Carolina where you were in complaint for maybe the same kind of things they thought they would be playing for when the season started. For them to continue to that don't mean anything grand scheme of things, but yeah. overall they, the original NIL. <laughs> yeah, they were. <laughs> yeah, they were. That's